let us continue with our lesson so let's go and test it out so if the current functionality that we have developed is working fine or not so let's try to debug so i will put a breakpoint over i think it should be here and the next is on error and on the let's put on over here i think that should be fine and on view model and on a if so let's try to debug it and let's try to launch the application and uh, let's see how the things goes and uh, let's try to log in so the username would be demo1 at gmail.com and the password would be 1234567 and uh, let's try to log in and uh, you can see it goes over here is the message the code is success and let's uh, go to the next one and it says that we get the data over here and now it should go to over here and we have passed the response you check the login response we have passed all of this and uh, if you click on next uh, let's go to next step okay so we are over here and if you check the it value it's a true so we got a true value back from it and if you hit a f8 on a keyboard then it's going to go and save the or start up it's already saved and now it's, it's going to start up intel for us which is to start a main activity and if you run it and if you go back to the illuminator you can see we are on a main activity where it says the hello world and if you go back and check the main activity layout so let's go to rest and the layout and that's we should get a, we have a hello world text so that's perfectly working fine and which means that the functionality that we have created over here is working perfectly fine and there may still need uh, we need we may need to some uh, customize still we have some of the customization left over here as well as in a we also have to go to the login view model we also have to implement some of the requirement over here and for now what we will do over here is to just to finish the timeline search sorry we should uh, finish the current activity so we don't want to keep a back stack so if whenever we went to the if you went to the main activity and when the user press the back back button we don't want to go to the login screen because we have already logged in so that's why whenever a user press the back button we want to go to the uh, directly to the main screen so that's why we have to finish the current uh, layout and uh, what i will do is we will just finish for now so i don't want to keep a backtrack for now so i think that's all for this lesson and we still have a lot of things to implement on a login side and basically on the next step we should go visit the splash activity and uh, we should check here after the network we should check for the save user data so when if we, we have already set the user data so if the token is already present and we should also check if the token hasn't expired so all of these things we still have to implement so if the token is already set and it hasn't been expired then we can directly move on to the main activity so that's all for this lesson and we'll meet, meet up in the next lecture till then have a great day